In this lecture, I'm going to be discussing actors and give a very high-level overview of some of the most common types of actors. So, first off, what is an actor? An actor is simply any object that can be added to a level. For example, I can click on this cube here and drag it into my level, and now this cube is an actor within the level. So, actors can be physical, visible objects within our level, such as this cube, but they don't have to be. For example, there is something called the player start actor. Wherever I place this actor within my level is where the player will start when the level begins. So even though the player start actor isn't a physical object within the level, it's still considered to be an actor. So again, an actor is basically any entity that can be placed into and moved around in a level within the Unreal Editor. All right, so now I'm gonna spend a little bit of time discussing three of the most common types of actors used to construct levels in the Unreal Editor. And this will just be a very brief introduction to each of them, just so you can start to get familiar with them. So the first type of actor I want to discuss is the static mesh actor. If you're not familiar, mesh is a 3D modeling term and simply refers to a 3D object. So when you're playing a game, pretty much every object you see in the game will be a mesh. For example, you may see tree meshes and bird meshes and table meshes and chair meshes and so on. Static meshes refer to meshes with no moving parts. So you have, for example, these static meshes here in the form of some basic geometric shapes. And in the starter content that comes with the Unreal Engine, you have some static meshes in the form of furniture and some basic architectural objects. So I can drag this table into my level and this chair and this couch and so on. So you have some meshes to start with, but the vast majority of meshes used in games are created in external 3D modeling applications such as Maya, 3D Studio Max, Blender, and so on, and then imported into the Unreal Editor. Now, if you're not a 3D modeling artist, don't despair. There, there's lots of great content available on the internet for you to use for free or for a price, and I will show you where you can get that content later on in the course. The second type of actor I want to discuss are geometry brushes, or simply brushes. A brush is simply an actor used to represent 3D space. So there is a box brush and a cone brush and so on. So this is very similar to a mesh, but there are a few key differences between meshes and brushes. I will discuss these in greater detail later on in the course, but for now, just know the following. Brushes are only used for basic geometric shapes, while meshes can be crafted into objects with a high level of detail. Brushes are useful for quick level design, but are less memory efficient than meshes. Therefore, brushes are generally used to prototype levels early on, and are then replaced with better looking and better performing meshes for the final project. Now, before I move on to the next actor, I want to talk about a property that is common to both meshes and brushes, and that is the material of the actor. A material in Unreal Engine is an asset you can apply to a surface to make that surface, and thus the geometry behind that surface, look like it's made out of a certain substance. For example, if I apply a wood material to this cube, it now looks like a wooden cube. Or, if I give it a brick material, it will look like it's made out of brick. Static meshes that are imported into the Unreal Editor usually already have one or more materials applied to them that get imported in alongside them, but you can replace these materials if you wish. For example, I could replace the material on this chair with a wooden material or any other material I wanted. Now, the final actor I want to discuss in this lecture is the light actor. A light actor in the Unreal Engine is used to represent visible light in the real world. And thanks to a lot of complex mathematical algorithms that the Unreal Engine uses, it will behave much like light does in the real world. It will make objects that it hits more visible depending on the intensity of the light and the material of the object. It will reflect off the surface of objects and light up other objects indirectly. It will cast shadows if a visible opaque object is in its path, and so on. I'll discuss lights in greater detail in a later lecture, but for now, just know that light actors are used to represent only the light itself and not any of the objects from which the light emanates from. For example, if you wanted a working flashlight in your level, you would, need to you would need to combine a light actor with a static mesh actor that looked like a flashlight. 
you would place the light actor at one end of the flashlight to make it look like the light was coming out of the flashlight. So, to summarize, an actor is any object you can place and move about your level. Brushes are a type of geometric actor used to quickly prototype and structure a level. Static meshes are a type of actor that are used to represent realistic looking objects in your level. Materials can be applied to the surfaces of brushes and static meshes to make them look as if they are made out of that type of material. And lights are a type of actor used to light the whole thing up. Alright, so that will conclude the lecture on actors.